In an abandoned shack in Congo's capital, Kinshasa, people are mixing a new form of narcotic, derived from a car engine. This is Bombay. It's made by mixing exhaust residue from a car's catalytic converter with pharmaceuticals like diazepam. Experts say it can cause users to stand motionless for hours or sleep for days. Cedric is a gang leader here. It makes them feel good and slows them down, he tells us, so they don't go stealing or causing problems. Before we knew that Bombay existed, we used to drink very strong whiskey made by Indians. We were agitated and we started to hurt people. But with Bombay, it calms you down. You get tired. You stay somewhere standing up or sitting down for a very long time. When you're done, you go home without bothering anyone. But the authorities are less relaxed. In August, police rounded up and paraded nearly 100 alleged dealers and users of Bombay, which means powerful in the Lingala language. They also displayed buckets full of the honeycomb exhaust filters that are crushed to make Bombay. Mechanics in the Congolese capital blame spiking demand for the drug for a rash of thefts. Chasori Kodogo says five to ten clients come to him every day having had their catalytic converter stolen. Often when clients come to the shop, we check underneath the car and the catalyzer is gone already. It's been cut off and the car will make a strange sound. Here in Kinshasa, we don't sell catalyzers for vehicles, so we have to order in Europe. It's expensive. This one is lucky. He still has his catalyzer. Users mix the crushed ceramic honeycomb, which is coated in metals such as platinum, with pills or smoke it with tobacco. But Dandi Yela Yolemba, country director for the World Federation Against Drugs, says nothing is known about the long-term effects. They are substances made to be used in engines, in cars. So we have food, we have things to take for our body. We do not have to take substances from God, made for cars and start taking. He warned that the metals used in catalytic converters can cause cancer. The fear is, he said, that the consequences for a person's body will become apparent in the coming weeks and months.